No, why would you say we have a cat? Because Dad last night was saying, oh, I'm going to beat that kitty, baby. Why would Dad even want to hurt a cat? Well, what, are hey. you, what, are you, what are you listening to? What happened? There's nobody was in You need to be cat. in bed, all right? Go, go, go. Go, go, go inside. To bed, go to bed. Go to bed. Jesus. Carajo. That's your fault. You're mad about kitty, kitty. You're just mad about you. You like when I beat that kitty. But you know he's in the room next door. Like doesn't matter. Back again, fam. I'm your gracious host, Drummer Boy 1980, fam. Glad to be in the day with you. Hope you had a good day today. If not, you know the old adage. Ask yourself why. And remember, fam, happiness is an inside job. And it will always be, you heard me, always be an internal affair, huh? Shout out to the Lapeef Network. Those guys over there are doing phenomenal work. Guys, you need to listen at this M. My God from Zion. Listen up. So can you answer the um, this question? I'm not sure if I heard you clearly. How does a woman feel attractive if a man is not approaching them? Um, if she feels confident within herself and she feels like a person who is attractive, then she feels attractive, <laughs> regardless of whether or not a man approaches her in that manner. Okay. Uh, Tita Goddess. Um, I... Absolutely. If um, if men didn't approach a woman sexually, would she still feel attractive, or would they still feel attractive? Um, I'm gonna say yes. Um, and I'll say yes if she's a confident woman. I'm gonna say yes if she doesn't validate her level of attractiveness by some external factor. Boy, oh boy, mm, our people are in a trick bag, family. I tell you what you do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and click it. Come on back to see. Because I'm about to jump on this horse and I'm about to ride him, all right? First thing first, in order to be attractive, attractive simply means, you know, to be alluring, uh, to captivate something, or uh, to mesmerize. You get my drift. How is it that you can feel attractive when nobody is drawn to you? Huh? That's a simple question. If there is no man attracted to you, how can you then say that you are attractive? How do you know? And the question is, where well, I feel, oh Lord. Guys, take notes, get your pen and pad it out. You see how a woman's feelings can be in direct opposition of reality? Oh God, I'm about to go there. Did you hear what I said? Let me repeat that again. Do you see how a woman's feelings can be in direct opposition of reality? The truth, facts don't matter whenever it comes to her feelings, Jada Pickett. I ain't going there right now. I got a video coming though. But she can feel attractive even though nobody is attracted to her. Or either somebody lying one. And the greatest trick is to get a person to lie to themselves, to deceive themselves. There's no greater trick than that. Huh? You heard me, didn't you? Your feelings can be wrong. You heard me, didn't you? I said your feelings could be wrong. Your feelings can beguile you. They can deceive you. All right? I feel like I should be able to sleep with as many women as I want, when I want, Sniff as much cocaine as I want, drink as much liquor as I want, and shoot people whenever I get mad. <laughs> but hold up, guys. Hold up. Hold up. Let's see what Courtney got to say. All right? Come and go get my cap, Jay. I'll be right back. I'll answer. Yeah, hey, uh, I'm going to say no. And I don't care how much confidence you have in the world. If there's no one approaching you or wanting you, you're going to question yourself. And am I as cute as I think I am? It's the whole reason why I wasn't Steph Curry's wife, Aisha Curry, he was on the red table talk or wherever she was getting pissed off that Steph was getting all the attention and she wasn't getting any. And so she had to question herself, lose weight, get naked to get that sexual advancement. Facts, from Courtney. Facts. <laughs> I mean, let's call a spade a spade. So if I'm going out thinking I'm cute and no one looks my way, I'm going to look in the mirror and go, well, nerd, what's wrong with me? How come ain't nobody checking for me and I done got all dressed up and put on a little lipstick? So no. <laughs> and if that keeps happening over and over again, it's going to kill your confidence. And that's why people on Instagram getting bucky naked, trying to get attention, trying to get like that sexual <laughs> bucky naked. <laughs> and that's what they doing it for. So, hey, no, 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 Courtney, I got a question not, for you. 
Yes. Can I have you ask you a question? Why do women post thirst trap pictures on Instagram if it doesn't matter? Well, it does matter. That's the why oh. you do thirst trap to get attention and to get likes. And mm. best believe you post a picture and you're going to look who like my neck. And mm-hmm. if they don't like it, then it's going to cause a problem. So you're going to remove it. And maybe I posted at the wrong time. Let me add it back. And then if it don't, it's going to hit your ego. Women are very ego driven. So yes, am I going to feel attractive if no one comes to me as a sexual advancement, trying to holler, all that? It's going to hurt my ego. Thank you for being honest, Courtney. I appreciate you also. Boo, y'all. She taking off from the free throw line, guy. She Clyde Drexler. Huh? Courtney, that was fire. My God, sister. That was fire that night. The truth, the whole truth, so happy God. The very thing that she said at the end is the very reason why these women giving these bogus answers. Cause ego. Oh God. You know good and doggone well if no men was not hollering at you, was not pursuing you or showing you any kind of attention, that would affect your psyche. Who they think they talking to, guys? We ain't simps over here on this side. We can see straight through the facade. And it make you look like a liar simply because you trying to combat the truth. Family, the only thing that you have to do is just sit back and just put forth the truth and watch the people struggle with the truth, wrestle with the truth. It is hilarious. This panel is indicative of life. Arts imitate life, they say, right? You heard T. Goddess answer. You heard K answer. And Kayla was on board with the other two ladies. So they were three out of four. And Courtney had an answer that was logical and sound. So there was four ladies. Three of them gave a bogus answer. Courtney gave a correct response. One out of four get married. That's 25%. Hmm. Family, I want y'all to hear something. Kids, cover up your ears. Christian people, excuse this language because this language is very vulgar. So please excuse this. But you need to hear this for a reason. All right, because I don't want anybody to say that I took them out of context. So I'm going to play the clip. I know where you was going, but I just wanted her to go ahead and bury herself. So you're a representation of your family, and that's why you go out to looking the way you look. Correct? Am I right? You can hear. Okay, So cool. your titties is out because you want to represent your family. Excuse me? <laughs> your titties be out, and you shine up your titties. You saying where, that's... Where are your- my titties out? <sighs> we good. Hey, we good. <laughs> Yo, it is questions. cap season here, bro. Answer the question. Spring is coming. Answer the Spring question. Coming, answer, the question. Coming, and, no, answer the fucking question. Because we, we, if you want to go here, then let's go. We ain't got to go nowhere. We chill. So name it. Name it. So, so name, you it. Sure. name it, Logic. Name what? I could hear Name you. where my titties are out. So your cleavage is showing, and that's to represent your family. Uh, I my cleavage looks great, actually. Yes. No, I didn't. I did not say it did look great. I'm saying, but by showing yes, your cleavage, yes, I look good as shit. So yes. Okay, wait. So by showing your cleavage, that's the representation. I look good as fuck. So yes. Why you won't let them? Hold on. Wait. 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 We cleared the. All we cleared of it. The, hold on. Hold it. on. All of it represents my family. I look good as hell. I represent we, all the good women. We the cleared the path. Good as shit. All of this. You see we that? cleared the all path so are that you any, can get your whole questions? thought out. You we, so you can't. Are there any other questions of validity? You can't extend the same respect and let him actually make his point and finish the comment what before you go. Okay, I'm good. I don't need logic. to. I already we know. Path. No, we yeah. extended her respect, and she don't want to extend the same. What level other of respect. questions do you have? Because he asked the question, I answered it. Any other questions? Nope. So, I mean... Okay, I, great. Yep, Moving on. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Kayla. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, but there you have it. Uh, today, 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 today. There you have it. I hope my daughter don't ever say she got her titties out to represent me. We're going to have a problem. They <laughs> <laughs> said, I'm too sexy for this show. <laughs> They mad, they, they mad you look good. They want to try to, whatever. I give a fuck what you think. If she approves it, why would I care what you think? We does she approve the potty mouth right now? It's not personal, remember? Does she, personal. Does she do, is it just what you look like or is it how you talk in your potty mouth right now that, she, that, that also represents your family? Well, 
Well, what? <laughs> that represents it too. Like, if you get disrespectful, there are multiple people in my family that will. Nobody disrespected it is, you. Though. It is what he it said is. that you actually look good, and yes. he said he just yes. asked you a simple yes. question. Yes, that too. Well, 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 family. Did you hear it? I didn't cut no clips up. I didn't do anything of that sort. I played it straight through. You heard the raw footage. Hell, boy, I tell you what, I peep in a trick bag. Kayla, Kayla, Kayla. Kayla is a nice looking woman, but the minute she opens her mouth, everything goes out the window. Everything. Her attitude is janky. It's jacked up, man. And I don't know a guy in his right mind that would put up with this. I'm serious. And people can say, well, it's just the internet. No, that was not no internet. That There was not no internet. You seen the unraveling of Kayla just now. And we have seen this many times before. This is not the first time. She cussed like a sailor, man. And she says that this is a representation of her family. Because Mr. Logic just asked a simple question. So your cleavage being out across the YouTube and social media, is that a representation of your family? She started cussing. I look effing good. I look effing good and all this. Mm. And then whenever Anton start pressing her about her potty mouth, she says because Mr. Logic disrespect her by simply asking a question. Deflection tactic, guys. That's all that was, a deflection tactic. Because she didn't have no answer. Now, who can distinguish Kayla from a hood chick? Answer that question. Put it in the comment section. Who can distinguish how she just conducted herself for thousands and thousands of people to see it? How can you distinguish her from a hood? You can't. They want in the same. I've been telling y'all this. And I don't have nothing against the sister personally. I'm just talking about her actions. Her actions that I just seen that y'all just seen. That's hood chick stuff. I don't care where she grew up. See, y'all got a geographical location confused with a mindset. Oh, God. Huh? You heard. You got a geographical location. I know people that live in million dollar houses. That's hood. The Atlanta housewives. You see how that works? That's hood. Got nice homes, drive nice cars. Still hood. Ghetto. Huh? I said what I said. And matter of fact, I'm going to drop the mic right there. Mic drop, family. Go ahead and hit that share button for me. Hit that like button for me, family. Go ahead and put something in the cash app. All right? Hit that subscribe button, family. And like I always tell y'all guys, I think you're tenfold over. And remember, there is more. Peace.